you want to stop sliding on defense? Do you want to become a lockdown defender and put all ball handlers on straight clamps? Do you want the best defensive settings to get infinite stops and infinite steals in NBA 2K23? Then make sure you watch the entire video because in today's video, I'll be giving you guys the best defensive settings to become a lockdown defender and put people on straight clamps. Let's get right into the thing, man. Let's go. I got me that bag, you know, when I fall on a savage show No, it's not a habit show If you drop that and I'm cutting my baggage show Trap over in the savage show I'm from the hell and they fuck with a ratchet ho And I run that little shit like a genie Then he can probably be titty It should be bad, say tweety So I'm all baby, just take a bikini I'm about to kill you Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, I see, man. Hey, look, y'all see by the title and y'all see by the thumbnail, man. I'm beginning to begin as the best defensive settings to become a lockdown defender, just become a good defender in general in MB 2K23. Now, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people have been complaining about defenses here. They've been saying, Aussie, stop, help me stop sliding. You feel me? Sliding is a big problem in this game, man. I'm here to tell y'all, after this video, you guys will never slide again because these settings will help you guys never slide on defense, put people on straight clown to be a straight bully on the defensive end bro so look without further ado i'm gonna jump into the settings now this, i'm on current gen obviously because i like current gen but this works for current gen and next gen so y'all next gen demons you feel me don't worry bro these settings still work on next gen bro i ain't gonna lie bro i'm not discriminating against consoles bro you feel me y'all next gen units just gonna work too now look before i even get into the settings man i got a few things to ask y'all just three things number one y'all gotta slap a like under the video you know what i'm saying it just helps the channel out a ton free of charge and it just hits one button you feel me just scroll down just a little and hit that like button number two while you're down there hitting that like button you might as well hit that subscribe button you feel me we're going for 25k you feel me at the next big milestone bro hey the last thing i'm going to ask y'all to do is to follow my tiktok at game with Aussies on screen right now you feel me hey that's the most that's the most i can ask for bro a like a sub and a follow my tiktok y'all doing me crazy you feel me but hey without further ado let me jump into the defensive settings because that's a, i know y'all came here for that let's be honest bro so without further ado let's get into it i'm at so boom we're in the control Controller settings. This is where you guys. This is where the magic is gonna happen, bro. So look, I'm gonna go through every single thing that y'all actually need because a lot of these matter, but a lot of them don't matter. So hey, make sure y'all pay attention and copy everything I said because y'all need to make sure y'all copy my settings. So you guys will never slide again on defense. You feel me? So starting off, this isn't for the defense, but like y'all want to make sure your vibration is off, your shot meter is off, and your shot timing is shot only so you guys don't have to time your layups. Now why do this? Obviously, shot meter should be off because it gives you guys a boost. You feel me? Like it gives you guys a 5% boost i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken plus if you guys learn how to shoot without shot meter it's so much better than shooting with meter bro so i'm telling y'all it might take some time to get used to but once they all used to shooting with no meter bro i'm telling y'all y'all will never look back so make sure your shot meter is off and if your shot meter is off your vibration should be off as well because vibration is not like you know what I'm it's not consistent because your timing on a standstill jumper will be different than a contested one will be different than a fade you know what i'm saying so hey the vibration literally changes timing so it's not consistent so there's really no point of having it on bro so make sure the vibration is off the shot meter is off and for the shot timing i like it on shots only because let's be honest who's trying to time their layups bro if you guys get a very early on a wide open layup y'all gonna miss that you feel me so hey make sure y'all have it on shots only so that you guys when you guys get wide open layups you guys won't actually miss the damn layup bro all right now for my shot time release i use really early some people like to use late for me i use very early bro if you but like obviously this is like really your preference i use very early or early actually i'm glad i might try early out but using very early has been kind of iffy so i might try early out but for the shot time and release time this is really your personal preference i don't have anything to say about this bro so hey for this part y'all do your thing bro and none of the next things matter until we get to um we're gonna keep going free throw timing what i like to do is put on real play percentage because we all do free throw this year actually kind of hard bro i don't know why bro but like if you guys have a good like a decent free throw rating like a high 70 or in the 80s y'all gonna be good bro like on my two-way playmaker last year as an 82 splash everything on my point guard this year it's like an 84 i'm splashing everything with my free throw timing is on real player percentage
mechanics, bro. I'm telling y'all, don't even worry about the free throws, bro. But imagine having to worry about timing the free throws. Come on, bro. I literally just press square, and then when I have a good free throw rating, it goes in every single time. So make sure your free throw timing is real player percentage, all right? All right, man. Now we get into stuff that actually matters when it comes to the defensive aspect. So starting off with a pull stick defense, make sure it's an absolute. Don't switch it to camera relative, you know what I'm saying? Keep it an absolute. It has to be an absolute. It literally says it determines the orientation when using the pull stick to play defense. So this is obviously affecting the defense. So make sure this is an absolute. Now who to guard? Y'all can actually have this on or off. Now I'll tell you guys exactly what I do. If I'm playing on the one score, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm on current and we do have the one score. It's on off because listen, who else am I going to guard? I'm, I'm guarding the one other person on the court. You feel me? When I'm on a two score, I like to have it on. And when I'm on a three score, it depends. If I'm playing lock, I have it on. If I'm playing center, I have it off. You feel me? So it's really like, it just depends on your build and what y'all playing. But I'm going to give y'all a recap of this again. If you're on the one score, have it off. All right. If you guys are on the two score, have it on. If you guys are on the three score as a lock, have it on. If you guys are on the three score as a center, have it off. You feel me? Now look, I've been on my center recently, but I've been playing twos, which is why I have it on. on. All right. All right, man. Now the two most important sliders are these. Defensive assists with intense D on um, box out assist strength. So starting off with this one, the defensive assist with intense D, there's only two options you want to go for it. Either zero or 15. Now I'm sure you, I'm explaining to you guys why these are the only two options. Starting off with zero. So why would I have the defensive assist with intense D on zero? You guys want to put on zero if you guys are confident in your defense because it gives you guys full control with absolutely no sliding. So that sounds fantastic. Full control, no sliding. Why would I ever have on anything else? Because if you guys reach and you guys miss or you guys overcommit on something, you guys are out of the play, bro. This is unforgiving, bro. So I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta be confident in what y'all do because if y'all make a mistake, y'all reach or something, it will punish you hard because you guys probably won't be able to recover unless the, the ball handler is complete ass. You feel me? So yeah, I'm telling y'all, if y'all are not confident, do not use this. But if you guys are a good defender, you guys are confident in your skills, make sure this is on zero. But if you guys aren't too confident, keep it on 15. Now, why is 15 the magic number for those people that aren't too confident let me explain it when you guys pick 15 you guys still have a lot of freedom without sliding obviously it won't be as much freedom as zero for me but it gives you guys a lot of freedom without sliding bro and if you guys reach a lot or overcommit this will actually help you guys recover a little bit you feel me because the, like the game will actually help you guys recover a tad bit if you guys aren't feeling too confident make sure it's on 15 if you guys know you guys are good at defense that you guys are confident in your abilities keep it on zero now for me personally i'm good at defense bro i've played center literally in 2k21 2k22 2k21 you feel me? I'm confident. I know what the fuck I'm doing when I'm playing center defense. You feel me? So I have it on zero. All right. Now the last most important one is box out assist strength, and there's really only two options: either 45 or 50. Straight up. Now what's the difference? It's literally only a difference of five. I'm telling y'all, the difference of five makes a huge difference. Now obviously the higher you guys go, you feel me? Like if you guys just say it's a hundred, bro, it will help you guys with boxing out, but you guys get less warm animations, bro. So yes, if you guys max it out to 100, you guys will probably box out everyone bro you guys will get no worm but for me i like to get worm because sometimes if someone gets me boxed out i want to worm them you feel me so hey that's where this really comes into play if you guys pick 50 you guys going to be really strong on a box out but not too strong on the worm if you guys pick 45 you guys to be really strong on the worm but not as quote unquote strong on the box out but let me give you guys a little secret bro i'm telling y'all keep it on 45 so you can get the worm and for the box out if you guys get the box out actually well what you want to do is press down on your left stick you know what i'm saying so that's l3 on playstation or l i don't know what it's on xbox but press down on your left stick and it makes your guy an anchor that's literally a secret free sauce free tip i'm giving y'all man if y'all are boxing them out and you guys press l3 it makes it so much harder for them to worm i don't know why but 2k just made a feature but you know what i'm saying that not many people know so make sure when you guys are boxing people out y'all um hold down on the left stick and it makes your guy an anchor you feel me so that's why i have mine on 45 because instead of having it on 50 with less worms i can have on 45 get more worms than doing do the anchor secret feature secret tips secret whatever you feel me the 2k really doesn't really explain so hey let me give you guys a quickly recap of everything i want to do all right for the vibration make sure it's off for the shot meter make sure it's off for the shot timing make sure it's shots only for the shot timing release time this is your personal preference for the free throw timing make sure it's on real player percentage for the pro stick defense make sure it's on absolute who the guard let me give you guys a recap keep it off for the one score on for the 
two score and then for the three score it depends on whatever position you're playing for the defensive assist with intense d either is zero if you're confident 15 if you're not confident but for me i leave mine on zero and last but not least the box out assist strength either 45 or 50 but for me i like to keep mine on 45 so hey man i just gave you guys the best defensive settings so you guys will stop sliding and y'all will just put people on straight bully clamps what are you on lock on center hedging double a because we all know double a because it's for i lie, bro if you got an inside center me personally you get a double but hey man y'all got the keys man actually y'all don't got the full keys because y'all don't got the defensive badges i forgot so hey if you want to have the best defensive badges for y'all locks and centers i can drop that in one video i won't do two separate videos for waste y'all time i can drop the best defensive settings for all y'all defensive builds y'all lockdown builds y'all center builds so let me know in the comments down below if y'all want that but if y'all don't want that just say that bro y'all don't want it but if y'all want it y'all gotta let me know and i can deliver that for y'all as soon as possible man but hey it's been a big rcp so i'll catch you in the next video and i'm out let's go